All right, everyone, and welcome back to episode five of our new Elder Scrolls Online Blackwood expansion. So, episode four, we just wrapped up finding the ambitions, and we're going to go carry on to this one, going to the manor. So let's go do that real quick. So far, I'm only about two hours into the story, but it's pretty good. Like better than Greymore, actually. About time. I was beginning to think I'd hired the wrong courier. So, did you get my message? I was worried I'd hired one of those incompetent couriers. You know, the ones who take your gold and then toss your letter into the dung heap. I had to eliminate more than a few of those in my time. Right to business. I wanted to ask you if you tried the swamp eel in a blackberry wine sauce at the Egg and Hammer. I hear it's the specialty of the house. Anyway, Vandasia. I did some digging and I came up with this place. Amnis Manor. Well, I got to thinking. A cult like the Waking Flame doesn't pay for itself. It needs wealthy donors, am I right? <laughs> of course I am. Anyway, Mattis Amnis. He's a known supporter of Vandasia. And a closet Dagonist. Generous, too, I hear. Hey, I can't do everything. Search the manor. Rumblings in the back alley say that something big is about to happen. An event of some sort. And Vandacia's stink is all over it. Maybe something here will point you to it. Sorry it took me so long to get here. Let's look around. Gotta get that bread, boys. Then Dacia might be at the Salvito estate near Blackwood Lake? But what sort of event are they talking about? Hmm. That's just the cover letter. The detailed invitec? The wardrobe's empty. Looks like Amnes has already left for the event. What a I think that's everything we're going to find. Let's take another look at the evidence and see if we can figure out what's going on here. Right. Says that's located near Blackwood Lake. It also mentions some sort of event, and I think both Amnes and whoever sent this letter are part of the Order of the Waking Flame. Actual Dagonists right here in Gideon. Can you imagine? I was thinking the same thing. Could he have found the other two ambitions? And are they people too? Cracked acorns. Mysteries make my head hurt. I'd much rather have a clear target so I can fill it full of arrows. Sounds like getting to the event requires a voyage and a special coin of some sort. Since we don't have a coin or an invitation, we should go to the Salvito estate next. There has to be a waypoint somewhere up here. I feel it. But that would be too close to the others. It's kind of... Hmm. So if I had to guess, there would be like a waypoint somewhere. I don't know. It's close between here, but there has to be one more. So we have 7 out of 12. If I had to guess where the others are, there would be one like right here. Somewhere around this area. Probably around here. And I feel like there's one over here and here. So, one... Two, three maybe, four and five. That's where I think the other five are. We'll see if I'm somewhat correct. The real question is how do I get out of this town? It's like walled off.
Easy. <laughs> Intruders! Stop them, my brethren! He went out that window. Head around behind the house and let's cut him off. Stop them, my brethren! I need to reach my boat! Stay back! Just... what Where do you are want? You? Uh, gems? Gold? Jewels? Whatever you want, it's yours. Just... just don't harm me! All right. All right, yes. Vandacia was here. Stopped by for a visit with his new charge, but, but he's long gone. Perhaps if you hurry, you can still catch him. Well, prisoner, actually. He stopped by to show him off. Gave me a preview of his big event. Oh, please, I, I shouldn't be telling you any of this. It goes against our code. No one outside the order is allowed. Oh, all right. I can see there's no reasoning with you. Take my invitation and my coin. You'll need both to get on the ship. The Calamity. It's leaving from Leowin Docks shortly. A ship at the Leowin Docks? Where is Vandacia holding this event of his? And he's got a prisoner? It sounds like he found one of the ambitions. Let me see that. What a strange coin. The symbol on it. It looks like the symbols in the book I'm carrying. Here, you better hang on to the coin. At least we know how to get to Vandacia's event, wherever it is. Absolutely. Let's meet in Leowin. According to the invitation, the event requires formal attire, so we'll need to visit a tailor before we head to the docks. I'll meet you by the big tree just inside the city gates after I deal with Salvito. Is this not formal enough? Could be a way shrine here and then here. I'm determined to get them all, though. I didn't miss you. We don't have much time before that ship departs, so let's get moving. No, the invitation says we need formal attire to attend Vandacia's event. When I dropped Salvito off with Governor Keshu, she suggested we'd be able to get what we need at the tailor shop here in the city. It's not far, pretty much dead center of the city. The place is called Armor and Fine Garments. Keshu suggested we should ask for a tailor by the name of Perseus Loke. He's supposed to know his stuff. Perseus. Armor and fine garments is right in the city center. I'll meet you there. I heard the new houses are pretty nice. Welcome, welcome to our little shop on... Wait a moment. I know you. Are you following me? I've had clients grow accustomed to my wares, but never has someone tracked me down from place to place. Are you with the young wood elf? Uh, how may I assist you? Help you? I can indeed. It's good I decided to pack up and move to Leowen. I dread to think of anyone other than myself dressing you for a formal event. So, how formal are we talking about here? An event thrown by a member of the former Elder Council? My word! That requires the utmost informal attire. Unfortunately, such clothing carries a hefty price. There's only so much I can do, even for a friend. But perhaps we can arrange something? 
The trade is simple. I need silk from the Blue Whisper Moths for next season's line. Bring me a few bundles and I'll trade them for the attire you seek. They nest to the north along the riverbank. Or you can pay the gold, if you can afford it. Listen, I'm lazy. We're just paying the gold. A pleasure doing business with you. Now, please, take your time and select the outfit that most suits you. You want to look your best and also make a good impression when attending a formal event. Well, one is for male and one is for female, so, uh... Right. That looks good on you. Hang on while I try this one on. Where does this piece go? What am I supposed to do with this thing? This is itchy, and I can't breathe. All right, there. So, how do I look? There's a right answer and so, a wrong answer when honest, someone asks you that question, I by look the way. I ridiculous in this outfit, don't I? You really think so? Thanks. You look good, too. So... You be the noble, and I'll be your escort. With these outfits, the invitation, and the coin, we should be able to walk right up and board the Calamity. Right, just act natural, and no one will suspect we don't belong at Van Dacia's party. <laughs> but don't expect me to run, dodge, or loose arrows while wearing this. It isn't exactly made for sudden movements. You like we're going the wrong way. Here. Then who might you be? Really this vessel's happen. been hired for a private affair. Are you now? And where's your invitation? Hmm. Salvito and guest, huh? All right. This all looks to be in order. Welcome aboard. Make your way below decks and find a bunk. We're shoving off shortly, and it's going to be a long voyage. All right, we're aboard. Let's figure out our next move. Can you not speak so loudly in public right like ship. that? Everyone is dressed like they're about to have tea with Queen Irene herself. I don't know. We want to avoid drawing too much attention to ourselves. We don't want anyone to figure out we're not actually supposed to be well, I need you to not here. say that out loud. Guests. See if we can learn anything. Just be careful, all right? Then we should find our berths and get some rest. We want to be ready when the ship arrives at its destination, wherever that may be. Mm. I do not know you. Vandasia and his recruitment drives. I prefer the company of long-standing believers, not raw initiates fresh out of the egg. 
somewhere spectacular. That's what I have been told. Vandasia does love to show off. The rumor is that this time, he actually has something vital to share with us. I look forward to seeing whatever it is. <laughs> Guess is. As many as stars in the sky, but such games get us no closer to the truth. I suggest you go and contemplate the blessings of fire and flood initiate. That is all that should really concern you. No matter what Vandacia says to the contrary. I have a feeling this is like a ritual that we're all just like... It's kind of sus, I don't remember dude. you. This must be your first time experiencing one of Vandacia's events. You're in for a treat, my friend. An absolute treat. But tell me. Have you known the council along? Ah, a new recruit to the cause. Welcome, welcome. I envy you. I remember my first time crossing over to... Oh, no, no, my friend. I wouldn't want to spoil the surprise. I do suggest you get some rest, though. The voyage takes us through some strange waters. I find it better to sleep through the rough patches. Makes the trip pass by more quickly as well. That's not the most suspicious thing you've heard. Stay on the path. The keep is just ahead. How could you sleep through that? Everyone else has already disembarked. We need to hurry. Well, according to the last couple of nobles who headed off the ship, we're somewhere in the Deadlands, the oblivion plain of Mayrune's Dagon. I guess Vandacia really didn't want anyone interrupting this event. Same place the rest of the nobles went, off the ship in that way. There's some sort of keep over there. That must be the place. I'm, I'm not going to spoil you. anything, but this, uh, this kind of looks similar. This Can way, please. Trial. Mind where you step. Keep going. Stay on the path. Please no. Excuse the mess, Your Excellency. Enjoy yourselves. Counselor Vandacia shall be with you momentarily. All right. This is weird. We're in freaking oblivion, and these crack day corns are having a party. I wonder when Vandacia plans to make an appearance. No, look around. He brought these people here to show them he's in control, that he's got power and the favor of Mayrune's Dagon. I think we need to explore this place and figure out what he's got planned before he reveals it to the world. Which is why we need to get moving. If he has found an ambition, maybe we can free them. And if it's something else, well, we need to see what it is and figure out what to do about it while there's still time. Let's search around and see if we can get a look at Vandacia's surprise before he parades it before these corrupt nobles. Oh, hey, look. Is that Lyrinth? What's she doing here? I'm getting that impression, at least from everyone that isn't you, me, or Lyrinth. What's she doing over there, I wonder? Anyway, since they all seem comfortable and excited to be sipping wine in the Deadlands, how could they not be cultists? Be careful. I don't think they want us wandering around on our own.
I'll tell you what I told Vendacia. I'm Sombrin. So, Vendacia has let some of his pet nobles come by to gawk at his prize. Away, you vultures! There aren't enough of you to stop Vendacia. He has an army of elite soldiers, crazed cultists, and Daedric creatures given to him by Merun's Dagon personally. You're hopelessly outclassed. Me? I'm the main event at this infernal affair. Vondacia plans to sacrifice me to his Daedric Prince, referred to me as one of the four ambitions of Merun's Dagon. Apparently, they think my death will grant them all unlimited power. I don't know. Maybe. My mentor used that term once or twice, but I never paid it much mind. Look, to stop Vondacia, you need to get me out of here. Find the key to unlock these chains. Ken Reeve Deserog has a copy. His chamber's to the north. You get the key. I'll stay here and watch over Sombrin. Okay. is allowed here. Not even the high priest. I shall wear your flesh like a cloak. Hey, over here! We're too late. While you were searching for the key, Vandacia arrived and called in the nobles. He started his presentation. Great, but it's not like we can just walk in there and... Wait a moment, that's it! If we can cause a panic, get those nobles to run around screaming, that should create another... Oh my god, dude. Great. If we can cause a panic, take these Rikas. They're beetles, similar to dewbugs. Very tasty, though they release a foul odor when they die. The oh. Place the Rikas around the chamber, then give me the signal when you're done. Whose idea was it to put Evely right there next to all these enemies spawning? You know what? Alright. We can't even read it. Brothers and sisters of the Waking Flame, behold our future. This is one of the fabled four ambitions of Merun's Dagon, and his death will elevate us all. Like the others of his kind, he was created from birth for. Now that's what I call a distraction. Dares. Let's grab Interrupt and get this out of here. sacred ceremony! Destroy them! Counselor, Thank you. this way, Stranger. before the Odin overwhelms. The High Priest is getting now away! Go. I will deal with the intruders. They will not escape this keep.
them! Recapture the ambition at all cost! Get up, Sombrin! We need to get out of here! I can't. Too exhausted. I'll help Sombrin. You need to deal with those Dramora. How do we go about uh, getting back, huh? Where's Evely? Remind me never to get dressed up for a romp through Oblivion again. This fancy outfit threw off my aim ever so slightly. I think we have to. We've got three of the four ambitions. Now we just need to figure out what to do with them. That goes without saying. Take Somran to the Temple of Debella in Gideon. That's where Keshu was going to hide the twins. Then, meet me at the Governor's Mansion. I want to let Keshu know what happened. Thank you for getting me out of that place. I am in your debt. <laughs> that story would take too long to tell. Let's just say I made the mistake of returning to a place where I once lived. I wasn't paying attention. Suddenly, I was surrounded by Vondasia's cultists. They overpowered me, and I woke up in chains. Yes, I would like to meet these other ambitions. Find out who they are, what we are, and learn more about this power Vondasia seems intent on taking from us. Lead on, and I will follow. Take Sombrin to the Temple of Debella. Then meet me at the Governor's Mansion. Lead the way, my friend. Always more to do. Like you, am an ambition. Another ambition? Truly? How very nice to meet you. Did you get Sombrin settled into the temple? Did you introduce him to the twins? Perfect. I was telling the governor everything that happened. How we traveled to the Deadlands and stopped Vandasia from sacrificing the third ambition. 
We need to figure out our next move. Oh, before I forget, here's your share of our compensation. Skill point, Pog. You have done well so far, mercenary. Now we must speak. Every stone tossed into a pond causes ripples. The stones you have thrown have caused waves. As much as I wish to assist you, I need to think of Gideon and its safety. My spy master tells me that Councillor Vondasia still has eyes in the city. That even now we fear he is aware that we harbor the ambitions. That he gathers his cultists to assault Gideon. The presence of the ambitions puts my people at risk. Keep the ambitions safe, but we need to find a better place to hide them. Talk to the ambitions. Perhaps the third one you rescued. Sombrin, was it? Evely said he wasn't locked in a vault when the cult found him. Maybe he knows more than the twins. I would never turn away anyone in need. We will protect the ambitions for as long as we can. Yet I fear my legionnaires will not be able to hold off Vondasia's forces should they attack. Go to the Temple of Debella when you're ready to talk to them. My spy master reports a flurry of activity that is troublesome, and Gideon is not the fortress it once was. Even so, my Blackfin Legion will give as good as it gets. Better even. What most concerns me is the possibility of treachery. Vondasia's family is powerful and has deep roots in Blackwood. His spies and political allies fill Gideon like wine fills a goblet. And not all of them are cultists, at least not openly. I fear the enemy we cannot see more than the one we can. Alright guys, this seems like a good spot to wrap up this episode, so thanks so much for watching. We'll continue on with the next episode shortly. Have a fantastic day.